Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. It's official. Trump just signed monumental agreement with Kim Jong Un. Here's what NK will do now. History was made yesterday in Singapore as President Trump met with dictator Kim Jong Un of North Korea for a peace summit. It's a historic first. Trump told Sean Hannity that he really believes that Kim will now begin to work towards dismantling his country's nuclear program virtually immediately. In response, President Trump has halted joint military exercises with the South Koreans, for now at least. They are seen as provocative by the North Koreans. Our troops will remain in South Korea as this moves forward. A comprehensive document was signed by the two leaders stating Pyongyang would work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and that the U.S. would provide security guarantees to Pyongyang. We are going to leave the past behind. The world will see major change, Kim Jong-un said signing the document. Those are just words, but we all pray that they are the truth this time. Trump also says he will have Kim to the White House and that they will meet many more times over all of this. In Hannity's interview with the president, Trump said the process is really moving rapidly. I just think that we are now we are going to start the process of denuclearization of North Korea, and I believe that he's going back and will start it virtually immediately, and he's already indicated that and you look at what he's done," Trump stated. All of this happened after several meetings yesterday in Singapore. CNN's Jim Acosta asked Trump if Kim agreed to denuclearize and he said, we are starting that process very quickly. Kim agreed to destroy a major missile testing site but did not offer specific details. President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un conducted a comprehensive, in-depth, and sincere exchange of opinions on the issues related to the establishment of new U.S. DPRK relations and the building of a lasting and robust peace regime on the Korean Peninsula, read the joint statement that both leaders signed. President Trump committed to provide security guarantees to the DPRK, and Chairman Kim Jong-un reaffirmed his firm and unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. The following four points are key in the agreement. 1. The United States and the DPRK commit to establish new U.S. DPRK relations in accordance with the desire of the peoples of the two countries for peace and prosperity. 2. The United States and the DPRK will join their efforts to build a lasting and stable peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. 3. Reaffirming the April 27, 2018 Panmunjom Declaration the DPRK commits to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. 4. The United States and the DPRK commit to recovering POW MIA remains, including the immediate repatriation of those already identified. The document also said that both leaders commit to implement the stipulations in this joint statement fully and expeditiously, adding that Trump and Kim are committed to cooperate for the development of new U.S. DPRK relations and for the promotion of peace, prosperity and security of the Korean Peninsula and of the world. There are still no guarantees that Kim will follow through on his promises. He has broken them in the past. Everything depends on the relationship between Kim and Trump, but if any president can pull this off, it is President Trump. He sounded very optimistic as he left the summit and evidently the two of them got along from the beginning. Trump made it crystal clear that Kim must totally dismantle his nuclear program. His country has to be denuked and he understood that, he fully understood that, he didn't fight it. Trump said. The summit was a minor miracle in itself. At one point, it was called off and then suddenly rescheduled. Despite heated rhetoric from both sides, Kim and Trump found a way to finally sit down together and start the negotiation process. No word if the Korean War will now be declared officially over, but we'll see. And I think it is a reach to talk of reunification between the North and South, but at this point, anything could happen. Trump told Fox News that without the rhetoric we wouldn't have been here. So I think the rhetoric, I hated to do it, sometimes I felt foolish doing it, but we had no choice," he said. When asked what comes next, Trump insisted, I think he's gone back to get this done. He wants to get it done. Let's hope so for the sake of global peace. During a meeting with the press on Air Force One, Trump said he trusts Kim, but the U.S. would have to check to ensure denuclearization occurs. I hope he also checks to make sure that the North Koreans don't just move their weapons over the border to China. We're going to have to check him. And we will check him, we'll check him very strongly. But he has a plan total and complete," Trump said. He's got a total plan. It will get done. Verifying that the country is totally free of nuclear, biological and chemical weapons will be very tricky. It always is. When asked whether he had any concerns about Kim, the president insisted Kim wants to get it done. He added, and we should all want that to happen. Yes, we should. Trust, but verify.
as Ronald Reagan famously said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.